one national championship and you're trying to get your second. It's a movie script. They throw it, and there's a catch made on the far side. That's the first since week two by Adane Mitchell. They're hoping he can come back, shake off the rust. Big matchup on the perimeter. So much talk about the tight ends, but I think Georgia feels very confident that they can win. Mitchell had a really bad high ankle sprain, missed nine games. First down throw again, and there's a catch made to Marcus Mosby Jack Saint. Aggressive approach from Todd Munkin, who calls the play as Georgia looking to throw again. Bennett across the middle, and the catch is made. And that's Mitchell making an instant impact in his welcome back game. They're threatening inside the 40. Here's that look, a little play action. See the backers, their eyes in the backfield. That's the biggest challenge they have tonight is Todd Munkin. Empty backfield on second and 10. Bennett has plenty of time again and finds Big O, Washington over the middle. He's just hard to guard. Eichenberg gets him down near the marker. All Big Ten defensive end puts Georgia seven yards behind the sticks now. Bennett flips it short. McIntosh is an excellent receiver out of the backfield. They use him a lot, but Eichenberg tracks him down after a pretty short game. Bennett faces third and ten. Buckeyes show pressure. Don't bring it. And the ball looped to the sidelines and coming back to make a catch beautifully is Dominic Blaylock. A matchup with a slot fade with a receiver against the safety, you take it. And the reason, Tanner McAllister never locates the football. He's in decent position, but from word go. Milton is in the game. They fake it to him. Bennett rolls out and puts it on the bootleg. And there's the first catch by Bowers, who's really hard to tackle himself. And the dogs are threatening. Cam Brown gets him to the ground, but they're in the red zone. Vanderbilt got him a couple times in that route. Ball quickly out. McIntosh knifing to the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. Just like that, the Bulldogs bounce back. Out here, and then get the lineman out in front, and you get behind it. You'll see the receiver to the outside there, the big tight end, Washington. Throw it now, cut behind that convoy of blockers. See them finishing blocks on those defensive backs. Kendall Milton is the back, and it's going to launch downfield on the run. Caught! Arian Smith, the speedster, makes the catch down to the Buckeyes' 10. When, when you have a receiver like this to get, get to the middle of the field, these linebackers with two deep safeties, he's got to run with that. He anticipates that he tries to get a head start, but you're talking about a track athlete. It's McIntosh in motion. Bennett's going to run it. Can he get the edge? He walks in. Touchdown, Georgia. We both appreciate Todd Monk and his personality, but also his play design. It's just beautiful. Watch the block here on the on the outside by Oscar Delp. Kind of seals the edge and allows the left tackle, Broderick Jones, to come around and lead the quarterback. Nobody left because of the formation, the motion to the right. Everybody on the defense is off to the right. Very easy. You seal the edge, you bring the tackle around, and Stetson Bennett's got great speed to get to the corner. We don't know why Georgia's become the benchmark program. Play clock at three. Bennett has time. Delivers over the middle. Strike. First down. Rosemey Jack Saint rolling down inside the 35. And Rosemey Jack Saint coming back downhill to the football helps convert there. 28-yard gain on that third and six. McIntosh to his left. Here comes the blitz. Bennett backpedals and flips it short. And it's catch made for the first time tonight by Lad McConkey, who's fighting through some knee pain, but Denzel Burke stopped him short. Yeah, let's go back. I thought they'd try to get it here, but pretty good coverage by Ransom, Chris. And then on the outside, you see... McConkey just settle there and the big thing is can you tackle these receivers in tight ends after they make receptions? Denzel Burke comes up and keeps him short of the first down a long way to go Bennett flips it short McIntosh stiff arm escapes makes a cut McIntosh one of the best backs in the country catching the ball out of the backfield all the way to the 43 Bennett's on the move, looking downfield. 
Nobody open, checks it down, delivers far side to Marion Smith, who collects about seven. You keep asking that question, and it's a great one. <laughs> Bennett across the middle, and it's complete out of the backfield to Edwards. It's a first out of the 43. It's not necessarily that they're doubling him. Georgia really not targeting him a lot. There he is. Down the middle, and Q, it's Bowers, who is open that time, and rumbles out of the 16. He's got time, and he delivers, and there's the catch made by Bowers, but did he get there? Where's the spot? Ransom stopped him. Well, Ohio State, no one's done that to them. No, no, and Ohio State getting a lead got them out of that their style of play. Play fake. Launch. Wide open. Arian Smith left alone, and Georgia strikes quickly. 76 yards. Ransom was in coverage and he slipped. Smith got way behind him. That's exactly right. Man free in the middle. Man to man over here. Man to man over here. And what you're going to see is Ransom just lose his balance on the turn. A little stutter move to the inside. He turns to run and he loses his balance. And when you play man free, there's nobody back there to help you out. So they haven't played a lot of that tonight. This time on first and 10, they do. And just like that, one defender drops, and you got nobody in the back end to take care of that mistake. It can be a lonely position, cornerback, when you're on an island. And that's a, look, that's an embarrassing play for an elite athlete. And, and Ransom is that to, to stumble and be on the carpet. And it has time, flips it across the middle into traffic, and there's Brock Bowers, first down at the 45. Bennett steps up, delivers down the middle, Kyrus Jackson makes the catch at the 15. Going fast, not because they have to, because they want to catch the defense off guard. And there's a short completion to McIntosh at the 10. Plenty of time here. In the final minute, Bennett from the pocket, launches to the end zone, caught, touchdown, A.D. Mitchell. A P.A.T. away from the lead. Condensed Bennett's crazy, unlikely, impossibly far-fetched career arc get any wild minute he couldn't even really get anything into it he fell back as he released that ball but still throws it accurately thanks for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus